we're going to have some fun in this guide because in this guide we're going to walk through how we can add hotkeys to a web application. So right here I have a very basic HTML file that I have opened in the browser and it has an input field. You could imagine that this would be a search field in your own application and I want our app to behave more like a native application and so one thing that we can do with JavaScript is we can listen for certain key events and certain key down events on the window itself. So this means that whenever your application is being used, then you can listen for the types of key commands that a user is typing out. And so what I want to do is give the ability for the user to type two keys and then have it focus on the search bar right here. And so we're gonna leverage hotkeys and event listeners in order to make that possible. So let me switch over here into Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna create a function here. I'm gonna call the function hotkeys. So I'm gonna say const hotkeys and I'm gonna make it an arrow function. It will take an event and so we're just gonna pass in E there which will stand for event and then inside of this arrow function, we're going to first select a window event. So I'm gonna say let window event. So this is just gonna be a variable called window event. And then from here, we're gonna listen in on the window and then the event. So whenever you're working with the DOM and you're working with a client like a browser, you have access in JavaScript to that window object. And so we're going to say window event, I'm gonna use a ternary operator here, and say if the event, and if not, then E. And if that looks a little weird to you, don't worry, we're, I'm gonna walk through exactly what's going on there here shortly. It's essentially just checking to see if the window event is what we want it to be. So if it's what's getting passed in, then we want to store it in that window event variable. And then I'm gonna add a conditional. So I'll say if window event, so this is our variable, dot key code so this is something that is available and we have access to inside of the window event object in javascript so key code is a reserved word it is an element inside of that window event object and i'm going to say if that is equal to 66 and what this means, I'm not just making this up, I looked this up before the video, 66 represents the letter B on the keyboard. And in the show notes, I'm gonna give you access to a lookup table where you can see all of the different key codes that you have access to. So I'm gonna say, if this is equal to 66 and the window event dot control key, so this is something that we have access to where it's, we're not gonna use a key code. You can just type control key spelled out like this. And what this all represents is that we're checking to see if that window event variable here, for one, if it's set, so that's why we have the conditional here, and we're saying if the key code on the window event is equal to 66, and window event dot control key, which means essentially did the user type control and the letter B at the same time. All of this code that we've written so far, that's what it's doing. It's just checking for that. And now inside of this conditional, that's where we want to activate and focus on our search bar. So here we're gonna select the search bar. So I'll say const search bar and set this equal to document dot query selector. Oop, query, there we go, query selector. And here we're wanting to grab the ID of search bar. And then below that, we just wanna focus it. So I'll say search bar dot focus, which is a function that we have access to inside of just regular vanilla JavaScript. And then the last thing we have to do is to bind this hotkeys onto the on key down event. Now, one thing I will say here is that the practice of doing this, so when I'm saying document on key down, 
and set this equal to hotkeys, you do have to be cognizant of the fact here that you are now going to be overwriting your documents on key down function. So this could have some other kind of unknown effects here. So this event listener here, you have to be careful with it because if you have anything else in your program that has hotkeys or is listening down for that on key down event, then your hotkeys function is going to override that. And so just be cognizant of that, but it's going to work for this example we have here. So now let's switch over into the browser. And now if I type control B, you can see that our search bar has been activated. So we were able to take that on key down event, we were able to build out our own key code listener that listened for specific events. Specifically, it's listening for the control key and the letter B to be pressed at the exact same time. And then from there, it simply focused the search bar. So that is how you can add hotkeys to your application using JavaScript.